Today we're going to look at the uh, Ryobi FVN 51K stapler nailer kit. Comes with everything you see here. So we got our instructions with the battery instructions. Comes with light duty, heavy duty, and 5 8 inch brad nails and our crown staples. It's uh, run by a USB lithium battery. You can use heavy duty staples from a quarter inch to nine sixteenth cents. You can use light duty staples from a quarter to three eighths. You can use uh, rounded crown staples from three eighths to nine sixteenths and uh, up to a five eighths inch brad nail. They call it a four in one stapler nailer gun. I like to call it a five in one because not only can you do the different types of staples and brad nails with it, the three amp hour SB lithium battery can also charge your mobile devices. So I'm considering this a five in one. The unit is uh, pretty straightforward. You got your power button here. On the front, you actually have this press in. That is your safety to keep it from firing. Compartment open and close. The one thing to remember with this is it also shows you on the bottom where to actually set the uh, staples and the nails inside to actually load them. Loading is the toughest part of actually operating this system. So the first thing we're going to uh, load is our crown staples. So we're going to take our compartment, open that up, and we're going to put these in. It's the toughest part because the one thing you got to remember when you're doing this is when you put them in, you're going to have to press this to actually lock it in. So you got to get them lined up correctly. So as you can see, we got them in there. We've got them pushed to my right, right here. I'm going to press this in, and as you can see, it slides in and goes. Don't force them, and then you click it in, and you're ready to go. Loading your staples, fairly easy. You put them in the middle compartment, slide that down. Remember to press the back, press that in, and lock it in place. If you're loading your brad nails, what you're going to have to do is when you put these in, you're going to load them in on the left-hand side. So you're going to put them in left hand side like that so you can see how those are in there take this make sure you press the back close that up to insert your three amp hour battery take her back cap off put her battery in till it snaps put that back on one other thing on the front so if you can see here is actually where you have your notch where you have your notch for where you're sta staple, so in case you're uh, putting a staple around a uh, wire or something like that. And if you look over here, this is where you're actually going to place for uh, your actual brad nails. So I've got our light duty staples in. Let's give this a shot. So press that down, fire that in, it goes right in. And we'll put in our uh, rounded crown staples, and I'm uh, Actually, going to take some wire here, going to lay that down. Remember, we're going to put it in our little notch right here. And we got that in our 5 8 inch brad, so we'll put them in. Remember, those are going to go to the left side. Press our back, load those in. It goes in really good. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, Work Pro stapler and give that a shot. One thing the Ryobi doesn't have that uh, I wish did would make this a uh, fantastic product instead of just a, a good one is even on the manual one, I've got a lever from minus to plus to increase the uh, actual power. To get anything with the actual Ryobi is to take it and give it a little tip. So you get a little angle here. So all in all, great little product. Wish it had the ability to increase the actual pressure. So if you're using it on uh, harder surfaces like hardwood or anything like that, that you can actually make sure that you get your staples in. But for a four in one, or as I call it, five in one, because you can actually use the three amp hour battery to charge your mobile devices, uh, put in 600 staples on a one charge. So punch away.